within my microcosm of digital pathology, the main um, challenges deal with uh, regulatory aspects, uh, dealing with the FDA in terms of how it views uh, digital pathology. Uh, over in the UK and in Europe, uh, there are widespread uses of digital pathology for primary diagnosis and it's often driven by a shortage of pathologists. In the United States, we don't have a shortage of pathologists yet, and as a consequence, there's not quite such a push to get, um, to have pathology assistants or pathology, or, or technology assisting pathologists. Uh, and the result of that, for the FDA standpoint, is a more of a strict uh, uh, evaluation of how pathologists perform primary diagnosis and making it very difficult for vendors to comply with the requirements that the FDA has for uh, to allow them to sell their instruments for primary diagnosis. So that's one sort of small personal uh, idea of what bother, what, what is an issue uh, or a challenge or a barrier to adopting a technology I really believe in. But there are many other general issues with, with pathology that were touched on at the Pathology Horizons 2016 conference. Um, they dealt with um, keeping patient information private, the ability to share information across different computer systems, uh, the ability to um, uh, mine and explore and evaluate big pieces of data, big chunks of data to find individual facts that would be beneficial to patients. All those are challenges that pathologists face uh, all the time. Um, I'm also interested in how pathologists support our fellow clinicians, our oncologists and uh, general practitioners. There's a lot of very complicated tests that are now available, molecular and genetics testing, and pathologists are being called on to help translate and educate clinicians about what those tests mean, what the next best test to order. They're very expensive, so you want to be sure that you order the tests when they are um, actually needed, not just to, hey, I want to find out or a curiosity factor. We, we can't afford to do that. Healthcare is way too expensive. So uh, part of that was touched on the conference today as well.